Good day everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to construct a histogram for a group data set. What is a histogram? A histogram is like a vertical bar chart with no gaps in between the bar. In this frequency table, we have two rows. The first row represents the class interval of 5 from 25 to 29, 30 to 34, to 55 to 59 which are the length in millimeters of 100 leaves. And the second row is the frequency, that is the number of leaves. The process of making a histogram are as follows. Step 1. Find the lower boundary and upper boundary of each class interval. The lower boundary of the class interval 30 to 34 is the midpoint of 29 and 30, that is 29 plus 30 divided by 2 we have 29.5 29.5 is the lower boundary for the class 30 to 34 and it's also be the upper boundary for the class 25 to 29 continue to find the upper boundary of class interval 30 to 34 34 plus 35 divided by 2 we get 34.5 and if we follow the pattern we can see the next one is going to be 39.5 44.5, 49.5, 54.5, and the first boundary, 24.5. Step 2. Choose an appropriate scale on both acid. The scale for this question has mentioned that is 1 cm to represent 5 mm on the horizontal acid and 2 cm to represent 5 leaves on the vertical acid. Then, represent the frequency on the vertical acid and the class boundary on the horizontal acid. Step 3. Draw the bars corresponding to each of the given red using the frequency. Now, we start to construct a histogram based on the given table. The first thing we do is draw the x acid and y acid and make equal interval on its exit. List down the boundaries on the horizontal exit. 1 cm to represent 5 mm. Start from 24.5, and 59.5. This is the length of leaf in millimeters. And the frequency, the number of leaves on vertical acid. That is, 2 cm to represent 5 leaves. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Then, draw the bars corresponding to each of the given wedge using the frequency. 10, 16, 22, 15, 17, 12, and add. This is what we call the histogram with group data. Thanks for watching and see you.